Hi there, in this video series I'm going to cover digitizing a geological map in Inkscape. Um, I've made a bit of a change from the last time I went through this series, which is to put the scanned field maps on top in the layer structure, and I think that will really make it a lot easier in terms of dealing with uh, opacity of colors and layers and that sort of thing. Um, so that's why I'm redoing the series. Um, so what I've got here is a blank uh, A2 template. Um, and it's got some layers that I've already kind of created. You can add layers by clicking on this plus icon here. Remove layers with the minus, move things up and down. And uh, yeah, uh, there's a little bit, trip, bit of a trick with this adjusting this layers panel. Often you get it coming up like this and just beneath the opacity slider is where you can adjust it. So in this video I'm going to cover setting up the, the um, importing the topo map and getting my scan field map in and aligned. So I'll start with the topo map. So clicking on the topo map layer um, to make that active so that anything I put in will go into that layer. And there's a couple of ways I can do this. I can simply drag and drop this in if I want. That's one way to put um, an object in. And I'm just going to accept these. Okay, I've just zoomed in on that map so we can see it. Just for this example, I won't uh, do too much more to that. Um, so the next step is to import the scanned field map. Um, I should say before this that you should make sure that this has come in at the correct size, that you exported it from ArcGIS at the right size. Um, so I click on this and it says it's too 11 by 145 millimeters, which is absolutely what I wanted it to be. Okay, so I click on the scan field map layer and I'll just show you the alternative approach to getting those in. So I can go file import and I've got this map scan and I click open. Um, it's going to ask you what type you want to use. I'm going to put this on link. Um, I tend to find that there are fewer issues with linking, um, but one thing you have to be aware of is that you need to keep um, your map, your scan field map, and your Inkscape document in the same relative um, folder positions. So one easy way to do that is just to put them in the same folder. Um, image DPI can come from file and then we can go OK. OK, so it hasn't come in at exactly the right size as far as I can tell. And OK, so in order to align this, we first need to make this layer, um, so this is this layer, um, a little bit translucent. So let me try about 60%. Uh, it seems to do pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to start by, um, I'll zoom in a little bit using control and scroll. And I'll just try putting it, aligning it um, somewhere in the top left. So it's somewhere there. And then I'm going to hold down uh, control to lock the aspect ratio. And I'm just going uh, to pull this out. And I'm looking for points like this, um, unique points to do the alignment based on. A little bit further. It's probably a little bit too far. So I'm scrolling in. And that looks pretty good. 
Yep, I'm pretty happy with that alignment. Um, now that I have that aligned properly, what I can do is I can lock this layer. And I'm going to leave that. Uh, let's maybe adjust that to. Uh, the 60 is pretty good actually. So I'm going to lock this layer now. And basically that is now set up, ready to go. Um, I can turn this topo map off as well. I don't need to see that for my digitizing. 